and they charged me 105 for the battery, and I said, where's my employee discount? They're like, the employee discount was you fixing it so you didn't have to pay for the, 40, for the $45 labor fee. And I said, thank you, and I popped off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I, like, I just saved 45 bucks and made 30 minutes worth of money working there. So it was like, boom. Boom. You save the money, you make the money, and you get a battery. And I get a battery. That costs money. But then my coworker said, hey, the car makes you money. Right. So you A know three what? for one. That's true. Uh, but we're going to have Jaeger here. He had a close set with Nibble earlier, mm. uh, barely squeaking on by, and now he's got a pretty good player ahead of him, low one. I can actually see both of these players' play styles like, um, be making it closer than you'd think. That's that's my prediction. Yeah. I know Though. like Yanni's Bowser Jr., Larry, whatever you want to call him, uh, almost beat low one once, so low one might be susceptible to like that little bit of gimmicks that Jaeger can yeah. do. But low also, he's typically really careful though. Yeah, I think that's what actually like really screwed the situation for low one because Yanni is very patient as well. Right. But Jaeger on the other hand, he likes the combo. He this loves man. the combo and he loves to go in. And like, he's like, if I get this hit, I get like 50 damage. Yep. But like, it's hard to get that hit, you know? Find that essential, like the first good hit for a combo starter. The healthy handful. The healthy. <laughs> I I'm so happy you brought the granola with you. I, I did. All of a sudden, I was just like granola in front of me. I'm like, heck yeah. I was actually like, I actually want to kind of eat while I'm here because I didn't have like a whole meal before I came. And I was like, I'm having a healthy handful. Boom. And you brought like a, wow, that was a mashup. That was, that was quite a match. That's why the controller's broken. Right? You yeah, it's, so hard. It, all those buttons are soft, man. <laughs> oh my goodness. But honestly, right now, Jagermom's still in pretty good shape at 108. What in the world? That's definitely supposed to be card or something. Yeah. I've never, I genuinely never even seen Jaeger use that before. You can actually edge cancel with the cannonball and then like forward air and it covers like a air dodge and not air dodge off the off the screen. But guess who's off the screen is Jaeger, Jaeger Bomb. Yep, he went flying from Let's, that down tilt up smash. Yeah, down tilt up smash and now he's got no rage so it's like it's hard, way harder for him to bring it back because he has to take the stock without rage and Bowser Jr. with rage is scary. A baby with rage, you know, yeah. like, uh oh, you never know what he's gonna do. Yeah, he could just be F smashing at the ledge and you get clipped at, if he has 150 rage, you just die at like 60, it's insane. Down oh no. If you can actually, right there, you can actually down throw a monkey kick, which is pretty funny, but you also kind of die because you monkey kick. Yeah, you go off right stage. off the stage. Yeah. Ooh, the shield pressure though. Double roll in, low one, oh. not feeling it. Hang on. Oh, we tried to up smash, I think. Landing it's, there. It seems like, um, Jaeger Bomb is like doing things just a tad too late. Yeah, and Low One kind of has the, the read on what he wants to do, so he's just throwing his hitboxes out just a little quicker. It's not much. Yeah, and, well, and that's the thing is like, Diddy Kong has solid frame data while Bowser Jr. struggles a tad. Using that to his advantage his, is Low One, man. Yeah, that's not why you play the character. The, for Bowser Jr., it's all about the Ram and Hams. Uh, the F smash, you know? The F smash, the yep. Yanni. The Yanni. That's not the Yanni. No, Yanni is roll back up smash. Ooh, classic. But he's not here today. Not nope. feeling too good. Oh, Typical. That, yeah, I know, right? Typical Yanni. Typical Yanni fashion. But yeah, that's going to be a pretty convincing game one. I'll say so myself. <sighs> yeah, that was definitely convincing. Why didn't you enter bracket, dog? I want to see that Pac-Man up on stream. Because I was, because I was like, I'm gonna bring 20 bucks, and then I brought 20 bucks, and I was like, I need gas. So I spent on a gas. <laughs> Not entering bracket because you didn't have gas to get here. Kinda. I mean, yeah. I could have been like 10 on that, and then yeah. I'd spend 10 here. But like, I wanna, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna fill up the tank. Dude, there's nothing better than filling your gas tank up, mm. and like, it's still not breaking the bank. You yeah. know, dude, yeah. putting 30 dollars in the gas tank and being like, I can go wherever I want right now. I yeah. got like. Like 800 miles, I could drive. No, not my car. I use premium. I use premium, and I get like, like 17 to the gallon. Uh oh. That was very scary for Lawan. It oh. was super scary. And I, I was, you know, sometimes I'm concerned because Lawan doesn't. He says he doesn't practice. Yeah. So it's like, does he really know how to utilize this? But his feel for the game for Smash in general is just so good. It's ridiculous. Like every, I always forget that Lawan just doesn't really play the game. Like, does he yeah. own the game? He, he, he finally he got finally? it like six months ago. I'm so proud but of him. But then I was like, I was like, have you been practicing? He's like, no, I've been playing Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> Can't help himself. Dude, I love Overwatch myself, though, you know? Yeah. Overwatch. I could be like, why would I beat up on like computers if I could play Overwatch? I agree. But then I play League because I hate myself. Yeah, no, those games, it's either the greatest of highs or the lowest of lows. I actually just like outsmarting people, so as long as I do that in the game, I don't care. Oh, no. Yeah. I thought that might have been down tilt up smash, honestly. Uh, let's see what happens here. He's been going for something cheeky every time. 
Still is. Oh, there's the banana to the grab. Gets Ooh. two pummels. Yeah, and Bowser Jr.'s grabs are not to be uh, frunked with. Like, yeah, you don't get follow-ups, but the damage itself is basically like getting a throw follow-up. That's really, really nice. And a lot of times on that stage, you have a Mecha Koopa running around, so sometimes you just throw him right into it for extra damage. Absolutely. Uh, pretty much in the same situation as yeah. last game, mid percent on Smashville. Oh, Dash Attack chasing the Monkey Flip. And that's the thing, I I've, I've seen him set up position for Monkey Flip, but then no one will do it, but he just won't be able to rack react in time. Which is what I mean when he's like, just getting everything out a bit too late. Mm -hmm. Puts himself in the right spots, but doesn't press the right buttons at the right time. That spot was good about a second ago, and yeah. now you're vulnerable. And this is, ac okay, uh, just land with it. Uh. That's uh, one thing though, you play a Bao Jiao and they're out of the cart, they're landing with that hammer. Yes. You respect it. Try to power shield it, but just do, I always shield early, because that way I either power shield it or I shield it, period. Right. And like a lot of times you still don't even get a punish off it. And it's, it's, it's so frustrating, but then you remember this is Bowser Jr. Like in neutral, you're already winning. Like Right, yeah. <laughs> well, kind of. If you let him get that Koopa out, it's kind of like pretty good for him. Yeah. But then, then again, Diddy has banana. It's Which is pretty bananas. good for him. Yeah. It's bananas. It's uh, it's kind of a good item. Yeah, it's all right. Just gives you a free hit if it hits. Uh-oh. Ooh, whoa. picked up the mecha. Going to hit him with it. And now Jaeger with some oh! momentum. See ya. Oh, no, are you kidding me? 71. Oh, what was that? Atomi popping off for his butt. Dude, you can't blame him. You see him, he picked up that mecha Koopa when low one was like at 30. Low one at that moment was like, that I'm moment. not going to die. Yo, like, why this. would I die? Watch this. 43. Okay. Okay. So Gets down. I think it's literally, okay, it's at 46. 46. 46, 55. Boom. Boom. 71. Gone. And with a little bit of rage, he has. Oh, one's face. is just like, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. all right. He died to two F smashes, didn't he? Yeah. 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 Yeah, he did. It's a pretty good move. Get some rage. F smash. The reason we saw the first one is, mm -hmm. like, you can actually angle it down so it hits a ledge. Yeah, it's super good. And all the, the hits of it are just ridiculously strong. There's so many. It's very hard to punish, too. Like It is. Unless you're really in the perfect spot for it, very difficult uh, Like, punish. Diddy can get a grab or, or a, a forward air, but that's not like a forward smash or something crazy. Right. And even then, sometimes you just get out quick enough, and then the, the Bowser Jr. will do another F smash, and you're like, damn. Yeah, <laughs> like, dang it, <laughs> But yeah, it looks All like right. Lowen playing a little more patient this game, right off the start. He's going to have to, man. We saw what happened if he's not patient. You died uh, 57 by an F smash. Yep. Uh, so... Gonna go ahead and get the up throw. Got, got the banana also hit the Mecha Koopa. It takes 6% to take it out, I believe. Yeah, Mecha Koopa doesn't care about too much, man. I love the, you know when you pick up the Mecha Koopa, it refreshes the uh, the blow up timer. timer. Yeah. yeah, it's super good. And that's one thing that Jaegermoff's really good at. His Mecha Koopa plays, he drops, yeah. everything is insane. He's the one that told me that if the, if the Mecha Koopa is exploding, you know how it, it'll pop up and then explode? You can grab it while it's popping up before the explosion. So you can actually pop up, hit someone, and then grab it and then throw it at them. That's it insane. It's like actually kind of, it's kind of nice. Because they don't expect it, right? Oh! Yeah, and it does like extra damage or something if you throw it rather than it exploding. But right now, oh my low God. one's control, it looks like he's playing with two controllers. Like, it does. Hand me that one, I'll just take 5%, thank you, and then I'll just take your stock. I'll just kill you instantly. And uh, the, the thing is, it's just over and over the banana slip. I think there was two banana slips last stock. He's really taking advantage of the like limited room that Jaeger has to move around. You know Diddy Kong's played Mario Kart once or twice. Once or twice. So he's using that banana as mm -hmm. an item, throwing it against the cart. Yeah, he's, he's really familiar with the situation. Yeah. Dude, I love Diddy Kong Racing. That was D the Diddy best. Kong Racing was like, why would you play Mario Kart when you have Diddy Kong Racing? That's what I'm saying. You have airplanes? Airplanes! Mm. And the items were fun. Yeah, they were. I haven't played it in so long. Like, I actually genuinely want to go try to find one. I love that. Oh! Oh! And dude. Good old Diddy Kong. Dude, I miss that game now. God. 